Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fourth problem of Let's Code Weekly Contest 294, which is sum of total strength of wizards. So we are given an array A, and we have to find the sum of uh, minimum element into B, into the uh, sum of the elements into B, where B is the subarray of A. Okay. We have to find the total sum of uh, minimum of a subarray into sum of the subarray for all the subarray of the current array. Okay. So there are four elements. Let's take this example. There are four elements. So total number of subarrays will be n into n plus one by two, which will be four into five by two, ten. There are total ten cases here. Total ten subarrays, and for every subarray, we are taking the minimum of the subarray and sum of the subarray, and at the end we are adding all of these. So I hope you got the question. Now let's move on to the approach or approach of a solution. So uh, I hope you have solved similar kind of problem where we try to find out what is the sum of uh, uh, all the minimum elements of all the subarrays so for that type of question, uh, problem what we will do we will take one element one element current element ai and we will try to figure out what is the number of uh, subarrays where this element this current element is minimum so let's say for take, take this two take this two and we will try to figure out what is the count of subarrays where two is minimum okay this two uh, there will be another two also in the latter part of the survey but we don't care about this uh, two right now uh, so we care about the two which is at index three and for that algorithm we'll try to figure out what is the nearest leftmost leftmost index which is lesser than two that will be zero zero index and what is the nearest rightmost element which is less than two that will be three four five six three so zero three six and what will be the count of uh, Different subarrays, but with the minimum element that will be 3 minus 0 into 6 minus 0. So there will be total uh, 9 subarrays where 2 is minimum. Okay, so there are total 9 subarrays where 2 is minimum. So we will try to uh, elaborate this uh, uh, like approach to solve our current problem. Okay, now let's say this is L and this is R. So what will be our code? Uh, like uh, I will try to run, uh, write a pseudo code. So what will be our pseudo code? Uh, so we will uh, loop from uh, L to current index and I plus plus, and we will try to loop from current index to R. What we will do? Our answer will be incremented by what? Our answer will be incremented by this will be J. So our answer will be incremented by prefix of j minus prefix of i minus 1 into a card. Okay, I hope you got it. Here card is uh, card is what? Card is index 3 and l is what? L is index 0, uh, l is index 1 and r is index 5. Okay, so that is our algorithm. Now, now the interesting part comes. So uh, what will be the interesting part? The interesting part is that how many number of times prefix j comes in the problem and how many number of times prefix i minus 1 coming so when you look at so uh, prefix i minus 1 could be like this element or this element or this element so how many number of times this this is coming the number of time, times it is coming is that uh, say prefix j prefix j i am talking about the number of times it is coming is car minus l plus 1 okay car minus l plus 1 and how many number of times prefix i minus 1 is coming? Prefix i minus 1 is coming in r minus car plus 1. Okay. So car minus l plus 1 will be the number of times prefix j is coming and prefix l minus i minus 1 is coming uh, r l car minus r plus 1. Okay. So that is our approach. So what will we do? We will do, uh, we will uh, like change this formula to answer plus equals to prefix j into a car minus prefix i minus 1 into a car at the end when we done with uh, the loop though the prefix i will uh, prefix j will be multiplied by uh, prefix j will be multiplied by car minus l plus 1 into a i i think it will be a R and prefix i will be multiplied prefix i minus will be multiplied by car minus r plus 1 
into a of r i hope you got it so and uh, here uh, you can check out that uh, we have just changed the time complexity of the current problem to uh, order of n square uh, so this loop so this loop is order of n square now uh, we have changed our time complexity of our current problem to order of n because we will iterate over j from car to r and we will iterate over i from l to car and the, these two are not nested loops we can do the, these two separately so this will be order of n and this will be order of n but for every index we are doing it right so for every index uh, let's say for two we will be doing it for three we will be doing it so our overall complexity will be order of n into n so somehow we have to reduce this time complexity again okay so how can we reduce the time complexity again so uh, so we have to somehow do it in order of one so now what you can check is that uh, what will be the value of j the value of j can start from our current index the value of j can start from the current index and it goes to the uh, last index r so we are just taking this car minus l plus one will be con constant for all this all the value of j okay for for car it will be same car minus l plus one for car plus one uh, j equals to car it will be same j equals to car plus one it will be same for j equals to r it will also be same so we can check out is that we can take the sum of prefix uh, j value from car to r so we can check uh, take the sum of prefix let me write it we can take the sum of prefix uh, r plus prefix of r plus 1 until prefix r and uh, let's say the sum is let's say sum and at the end we can multiply it by the constant value sum will be multiplied it by r minus l plus 1 into a of r so First, we are doing is that we are taking the uh, sum of the prefix values from car to uh, car to r, and at the end we are multiplying it by the constant values car minus l plus one into a of car. Similarly, we can do the same thing for prefix i minus one. So uh, we can do the same thing for prefix i minus one. So our sum will be in that case will be prefix uh, i minus uh, prefix l minus one plus total prefix i minus one. Okay prefix n minus 1 to prefix i minus 1 that will be our sum and uh, at the end we are multiplying the sum by car minus r plus 1 uh, r minus car plus 1 of this because r is greater than car into a of car so at the end let's say this sum is let's say call it uh, what we call it flip sum and uh, let's say this uh, this is called right sum this is right sum and at the end we are doing right sum minus left sum okay so I hope you got my approach. So uh, for doing this kind of thing, uh, like we are taking the uh, sum of prefix values, we will take another. We will take the prefix sum over the prefix sum sub array. So I will I will try to explain it in my code. So let's see my code now. Uh, so let's say uh, this is the prefix array. Okay, prefix sum array, and this is the sum of the prefix sum array. So let me take an example and try to explain it. This is let's say one two three. And the prefix sum will be one three six, and we are taking this is the prefix sum. Now, our I will take the prefix sum over this prefix sum again, so it will be one four and ten. Okay, so uh, this this prefix sum is the prefix sum array, and this is the sum of prefix sum array. Okay, now uh, I hope you got it. Uh, we are trying to calculate the prefix sum, and here it is left and right. So for uh, I have already explained for every index i we will try to figure out what is the left uh, nearest leftmost uh, smaller value and nearest rightmost smaller value. Here one thing you have to observe is that uh, let's say um, for that I have to take another case. Let's say one two three one five six one nine. Now if you uh, let's say there are um, similar amount of elements, similar num similar elements. So now we have to take uh, any one of this like this one could be in this one subarray or this one could be in this one subarray okay we can't take this one as both of uh, left subarray and right subarray like let's say there are same element in both left and both right so we have to consider like uh, let's say uh, 
so let's take this case so if we include uh, this one as both in this one somebody like the left uh, let's say the left of this one is this zero and right of this one is uh, this zero then we can got into the problem because our algorithm then will take uh, this zero as uh, left of this ones also so we have to consider only uh, the left or right where we are considering similar values so let's say uh, let me take into my algorithm. So uh, here, when we are trying to calculate the rightmost index, so for uh, one, for this one, we are considering this one in this survey, okay? This one survey. And uh, when we are considering left, we are not considering this one as this one survey, okay? So this L will be this. For this one, L will be this. But R will be this, okay? I hope you have got it. Now, uh, when we are uh, calculating um, the, um, the both the right survey and the left survey, when we done with the uh, calculating left and right, we are trying to calculate the right sum and we are uh, trying to calculate the left sum and at the end we are taking the difference between right sum minus left sum and adding it to the answer. Uh, I have explained it what is the sum p and what is the sum and why what is the right sum uh, here. This is, a, this is the left sum and this is the right sum. So I have explained it. If you still have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Uh, if you have still any doubt, like uh, any part of the code you are not understanding or any part of the explanation you are not understanding, uh, please write in the comment section. I will answer your every doubt. So please like the video and subscribe to my channel.